St. Lucia nurses went to the polls in February, where they chose a new executive. Newly elected president of the St. Lucia Nurses Association, Shirlene Duncan, says she is no newbie to the hierarchy, having previously served on the executive. The call to step up to the plate came from her colleagues, and she and, heeded. Um, it was a campaign that was led by the nurses. So the nurses were the ones who nominated me and who brought other nurses together to support what I stand for. And because of that, the support was overwhelming throughout the process and as well as on election day. Duncan says even with the overwhelming support, the process was a nerve-wracking one. Sleepless nights and doubtfulness clouded her mind at times as she went through the campaign phase. But through faith and motivation from her colleagues, she says she is now ready to lead and command with her new executive. Our vision is to be a dynamic, vibrant and visible organization. And over the years, we have not been able to be as visible as we wanted to and as dynamic as we would have wanted to. So our plan as an executive is to foster collaboration among all nursing stakeholders. So our general nursing council, our chief nursing officer, to work with the Solution Nurses Association to achieve the goals of the organization. Duncan says ensuring inclusivity is also part of the agenda. Non-registered nurses will be treated equally while encouraging all to be active in ongoing activities. The new executive promises opportunities for career advancement and development and educational opportunities in an effort to encourage continuous growth in their profession. On assuming the role, to Duncan sent out a personal thank you message to you all members of the association. As a change agent, I want to thank them for believing that there is hope for the association. Because on election day, we had an overwhelming turnout at the polls. And it's almost as if the nurses were ready for a change. And I want to say to them that I am ready and willing to serve them. I'm ready to be a servant on their behalf. Also serving on the newly installed executive is the first vice president, Jenny Morgan Raphael, second vice president, Yolanda Alcindor, treasurer, Deli Brown Joseph, assistant treasurer, Alma Bryce, secretary, Bernadette Felix Regis, Assistant Secretary Gail Harris and co-op members Candelia Altenor and Alma Dolor. For the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Sant Justin.